This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Yesterday you heard from John Calipari at SEC Media Day. Today, Matthew Mitchell and a few Kentucky players took their turn at the podium talking about the upcoming season for UK hoops. Josh McKinney is in Charlotte, North Carolina with more. The Kentucky women's basketball program has never made a Final Four, but with Lexington hosting a women's regional this season, the opportunity to play in one is as good as it's ever been. Because last six years we've we've never uh, had you know lower than a four seed, so it's happened for us over the last six years. Uh, but but you know it. It doesn't really matter what you've done the last six years. This particular team has to put it together and, and, and do a great job. But I can tell you everyone's excited around our program. Regardless of where Kentucky plays in the NCAA tournament, chances are it will have to get past perennial power and three-time defending champion UConn. But the Wildcats cannot worry about the Huskies. We're going to try to be a great, great turnover uh, margin team. So we're going to try to turn the opponent over a lot and we're going to try to take care of the ball. And that's a, a stat. We don't usually look at a lot of stats at Kentucky. We focus more on the effort and the energy that we bring. But that's a stat that when we've, uh, you can almost look, the, the better that stat is, the better our team is. So that's an important one. Now, obviously, before Kentucky can worry about any kind of NCAA tournament run, they must worry about the SEC a league that sent seven teams to last year's big dance. Reporting in Charlotte from SEC Media Day, Josh McKinney for WYMT Mountain Sports. It is now time to announce the UPike top five plays from week eight of the high school football season voted on by you, the fans. First, we check in with the Lawrence County Bulldogs at number five. Quarterback Grant Kaiser connects with Robert Dalton for the touchdown in a district win over Pike County Central. At number four, Prestonsburg Black Cat Drake Nunnery fields the punt, takes it to the house for six in a shutout district win over the Allen Central Rebels. We head to Pikeville for number three, receiving 26% of the vote. Chatlin Gerald with a one-handed catch stays on his feet for the score. Panthers won big over Phelps. Back to Prestonsburg for number two, Bailey Sloan connects with Wesley Hager on the deep ball over the middle for the touchdown against the Rebels. And this week's top play of the week, receiving 34% of the vote, Leslie County's Kevin Whitaker hits Sean Baker in the end zone for the touchdown against Shelby Valley. Leslie County went on to lose that game, but congratulations to the Eagles this week's UPike top play of the week. And Angela and Steve, that is sports. Thank you so much, Lauren. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this.